hello everyone welcome back to my channel and i have come with a second problem of deflection of pre-stress concrete beam so let's get into the problem first so what it has given that a pre-stress concrete beam having a rectangular section of 100 millimeter wide and 200 millimeter deep span is over 2.76 meter the beam is pre-stressed by a straight cable containing 5 wires of 5 mm dia which is stressed to 1200 Newton per millimeter square at an eccentricity of 37 mm. Assume the modular ratio. If the modulus of elasticity of a concrete is 37 kN per millimeter square and modulus of rupture is 4 newton per millimeter square calculate the maximum deflection of the beam at following stages a pre-stress plus sulfate of the beam second pre-stress plus sulfate plus imposed load of 8.4 kN per meter and for cracking load so from this problem we have come to know all the dimensions and all the parameters which are required to solve this problem so first first uh, let evaluate the area of the section which has been provided as 100 millimeter and 200 millimeter deep wide and 200 millimeter deep the area will be 2 into 10 to the power 4 millimeter square the length is given 2.67 meter in millimeter I have converted it I moment of inertia will be BD cube by 12 B is given 100 D is given 200 cube by 12 which is 666.67 into 10 to the power 5 millimeter to the power 4 Z is known as section modulus which is I by Y here Y is the half of the depth so the depth is provided 200 so the half of the depth will be 100 so this divided by 100 will be another 100 will be cut off from this so the value will remain same and it will be 10 to the power 3 millimeter cube for section modulus it will be cube eccentricity is 37 millimeter which has been already given in question modulus of elasticity of concrete has been given as 37 kilonewton per millimeter square and the modular ratio has been given 6.2 and here the modulus of rupture which is 4 newton per millimeter square provided in question so now let us find out the pre-stress force in tendon due to the area of the section and the stress provided on the tendon so which is given as 1200 newton per millimeter square into five numbers of wire and the dia is five so by this we have calculated the force in tendon as 118 kilonewton and the self weight of the beam what will be the self weight of the beam it is the area into the unit weight of concrete so the area is 100 millimeter into 200 millimeter into 24 kilonewton per meter cube unit weight of the concrete so the self weight has came into 0.48 kilonewton per meter so due to that the deflection due to pre-stress so let us find out the deflection due to pre-stress only and the formula which we have already come to know from the last theory section is PEL square divided by 8EI so here P we have calculated E is given 37 millimeter mean eccentricity L is given 2.67 meter 2760 millimeter square divided by 8 into E into I so the total deflection will be here as 
So the deflection due to this, the calculation, the amount will be 1.68 millimeter. It will be upward because this is due to pre-stress. The deflection due to pre-stress will be upward. It will try to bulge out, right? So for pre-stress, the deflection amount of 1.68 millimeter upward has been calculated. So next, the deflection due to self-fit. Now for the gravity load. So this is for the pre-stress and the phenomenon will occur as in an upward direction and for due to that self-fit, that phenomenon will be in a downward direction and which we have already uh, studied in our strength of material class. The deflection for point load here, point load used to be w l cube by 48 ei and what we taught about the udl condition it was used to be 5 by 384 into udl into l to the power 4 divided by ei so this was for simply supported beam and this was for the udl for the udl this was for simply supported beam point load this was for simply supported beam udl so these are the and we have already calculated the amount of w the udl which is that 0.848 kilonewton per meter so putting the value over here and l is given as 2760 uh, millimeter and all the uh, data has been put into this formula and we have got this amount of deflection so this is in a downward direction deflection so due to self weight this much of deflection will try to be happen in downward direction and this much of deflection will try to be happen in upward direction so now we will calculate the amount of self weight plus imposed load which has been given in our question so the self weight is 0.48 kilonewton per meter and imposed load is given in question as 8.4 kil uh, kilonewton per meter. So now let us calculate the deflection due to this working load 8.88 kilonewton. So due to that the deflection will uh, we will also consider the deflection formula for the simply supported beam U UDL. So it uh, so let us put the value 5 into that amount is small w mean the UDL into L divided by 384 into uh, E into I. So the amount of deflection we have got due to this working load is 2.72 millimeter. Now the moment due to this working load due to this working load. The moment due to this working load, we can calculate the maximum amount of moment is will always occur at the midpoint or the center of the beam. So the maximum moment due to that load formula is WL square by 8. So the W is 8.88 into L square divided by 8. The amount of moment we have calculated as in 8.45 kilonewton meter. So let us calculate the stress at the bottom fiber due to that pre-stress plus working loading. Now we will calculate the resultant stress at the bottom fiber due to the pre-stress and the working load. So why we are uh, adding this two thing? Because the resultant stress will ultimately come due to the pre-stressing force and the working load. So what were the working load? That was the self weight and the imposed load. So the formula as we knew it and here P we have already calculated as 118 kilonewton divided by the area plus P into E as 37 divided by section modulus 666.67 into 10 to the power 3 minus this is moment due to the self weight plus imposed load which we have calculated as 8.88 kilonewton meter so that divided by the z so the total amount of resultant stress we have calculated uh, as minus 0.87 newton per millimeter square
now we have to calculate the cracking load so what is cracking load here what is the function of cracking load here actually the cracking load on the beam corresponds to the load which causes a stress which is equivalent to the modulus of rupture at the soffit of the beam so the actually the cracking load is due to it happens due to the flexural strength so if this is the beam so the, if this is the beam if due to any kind of load if it try to bend so this is due to the flexural strength it will try to resist so before in this bottom fiber there will be a visible amount of cracking before the strength which that crack will occur that is known as the cracking load so the extra moment over and above working moment so we have to consider the extra moment so here it is required to cause a tensile stress of 4 newton per millimeter square at the soffit is given so here we have to we will come uh, come to that point uh, later so here by this formula moment is equal to stress into section modulus here as we know that m by i equal to stress by y so if we send this i over here so this i by y will make give me section modulus so by this we have come to this formula so here what is stress mean in this case what will be the stress the stress will be the tensile stress 4 newton per millimeter square which have been given in the question as modulus of rupture is 4 newton per millimeter square see here in question this is given so due to this modulus of rupture what will be the amount of moment so how much of moment will be the maximum moment before that beam will crack so the cracking stress it has already been given and the sectional modulus you know so due to that which amount of cracking moment will be the will be the actual moment after that that beam will tend to crack so that moment amount is 2.664 kilonewton meter so now cracking moment we will always calculate it as a moment due to working load plus moment due to the cracking load we will not only calculate the moment due to cracking load because the cracking moment will definitely occur due to the working load and the moment due to cracking load so this total uh, the summation of this two will give me the actual amount of cracking moment so here 8.45 plus 2.664 here 2.664 and where, where we have got from where we have got this 8.45 this is from here moment due to the working load 8.45 kilonewton per uh, kilonewton meter so now we know the maximum uh, moment at the mid span, uh, mid span formula is m equal to wl square by 8 where m we know w we don't know what amount of udl may cause this amount of moment the length is given and the udl we have got this so due to this udl we can easily calculate the deflection due to this cracking load so which is 5 by 384 into udl into l to the power 4 divided by ei so we have only just put the formula in this and we have got the deflection due to this cracking load is 3.57 millimeter so that is the whole problem this problem i have seen in the previous year question that's why i have solved it for you so if you have any queries or any doubt you can please comment me on the video thank you for watching this video